Hello, my name is Sunny Neal. I am a midlife creation expert and I uh, deliver the midlife creation program around how to take charge of the second half of your life. I'm going to talk to you a little bit uh, in this video about how to journal. Now that sounds like a mundane thing, um, but actually there are many ways of doing it and there are some that are much more effective when it comes to helping you distinguish what's going on inside you than others. So the journal is the primary tool that we use in the midlife creation process to have a conversation with yourself to help distinguish both the um, uh, late motif, the recurring theme of your life that you've lived from your birth or before, uh, and also the processes that are going on with you at this moment in time. So both the long view of your life and who you are as a, on your soul's journey to now and out into the future, uh, but also what you're dealing with at this particular point in time. So you can distinguish it and be, um, get some freedom and some power around how to, how to manage it and um, um, let go the elements that are inappropriate for where you're at right now. So... Rudolf Steiner, who uh, I draw a lot of this information from, who was a German philosopher and anthroposophist, scientist, um, used to say that the primary spiritual uh, practice that a human being can undertake is to step back and observe themselves like they were watching themselves as a third person. So the journaling process is actually something similar to that. My intention is to help people to use the journal to... Um, have a conversation with themselves, like the person they're talking to is separate from them, is a third party. So it's a little bit of a, um, a trick in the mind to play to journal in this way. So what you want to be able to do is to um, have a particular kind of conversation with yourself that is the freest and most empowering kind of conversation that a human being can have. Once you've positioned yourself as, a, as um, separate from the person in the journal, and this is my current journal at the moment, it's very small. Um, once you've positioned yourself as someone who is uh, having a conversation with yourself in the journal, then you need, as a third party, then you need to think about what kind of conversation you're going to have with that person in the journal. And essentially there are two kinds of conversations that you can have. One is the normal kind and one is the extraordinary kind. So we want the extraordinary kind. So here's how I'm going to teach you uh, to have that kind of conversation. Have you ever been in a conversation with somebody where you have been thinking about what you're going to say to them and strategizing about what you want out of the conversation while you're in the conversation? If you have, then you're very normal and you're part of the 99% of people who 99% of the time have that kind of conversation. Most of the time, we are thinking about what it is that we're going to say or strategize uh, in the outcome that we want to accomplish in the conversation. And look, I know even in this conversation with you now, I'm you know, thinking ahead as I go about what it is that I want to uh, say to you. Now, the beautiful thing about being in a conversation with another person is that you don't actually need to do that. The other person is actually a free entity and he's coming up with something that's completely different from potentially what you've been expecting them to, to, to come up with as part of the conversation. So the second kind of conversation is one where you are not strategizing and planning and thinking about what you want to accomplish in the conversation or what you're going to say next. But actually listening silently and quietly for what it is they're going to say without any preconceptions and without any um, expectations. Now it's rare to have that conversation with another human being and I invite you to practice distinguishing for yourself when you are having a conversation that is full of your own thoughts and when you're having a conversation that is not. And a great place to do that is with your journal work. You see, if you're having a conversation with yourself, then you can have the empowering kind of conversation where you actually don't know what you're going to say before you say it. Because you're actually writing in a journal, then you can let the writing actually come out unexpectedly without you really knowing what it is that you're actually going to say before you've said it. And that's how you have a conversation with yourself that you is unique and new because what comes out of you is not always what you would expect and 
if you can let go of the preconceptions, you can let go of, especially thinking about whether somebody else is going to read it and what they would think, or what you would think if you read it, or what you think is the right thing to say, or how you should say it. Um, we use the language of, you know, being transformed around it, you know, so you're saying all the right things, you know, you're analysing it this way, you're analysing it that way, and I can be responsible for this. And, you know, you don't, you don't really want to get too deeply into that. You just want to let the conversation flow, like you don't know what's going to come out of it next, and allow it to evolve of its own accord. If you do that, you will be able to have a conversation with another a person that is also you, um, that unexpected things will start to occur and you will learn things in that conversation that are extraordinary that you couldn't have if you were having the ordinary kind of conversation where you're basically playing both parts. So the job of a journalist in this program is to have a conversation with yourself where you don't know what you're going to say before you actually say it. And to, now you're not going to accomplish that a lot of the time. So the job is, just like in meditation, to distinguish it as you're doing it. So just like in meditation when you sit there and you, um, your mind wanders and you have to bring it back and your mind wanders and you have to bring it back and the job is just to notice, well the same with journaling. Your mind will wander and you'll start to strategize and think about the conversation and then you've got to bring it back and allow, sometimes I just write something a bit crazy, you know, like um, my mind's wandering bugger, I don't know what I'm going to say, um, and break it, just break it and allow yourself to have an uh, authentic, fluid conversation with yourself. And, um, uh, that's how you can use the journal in the best possible way. Great. Thanks for listening. I hope this was valuable for you. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which would be great. Um, and if you want to know more, you can go to my website, www.sunnyneal.com, where I've got all the articles and blogs at the bottom um, and a whole bunch of resources you can dig into to use however you find empowering and useful for you. All right. Thanks for listening.